Greetings and salutations from the land of miserable Tuesdays where people who don't work Tuesday nights shouldn't ever work Tuesday nights. I worked today and it was the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. She totally missed the episode. I thought I would be done before then and I wasn't. And we go to watch it at 10 o'clock and we get this week on The Vineyard. Not happy. So we're not too happy right not now. Not a fucking but happy person. I wrote down what I witnessed in the episode, what I thought, and here go. if anybody has anything to add to it, I think I pretty much covered everything here. By all means, let me know. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I watched like five minutes of the episode and that was it. Like the last five minutes. I clued her in on what happened, but you know how it is. If you don't watch it yourself. You're kind of like, what? Yeah. Okay, so, season four, episode eight, The Guilty Girl's Handbook. We start out with, I don't know, I'm one for catching on to names in these episodes, so I don't know if his name was ever mentioned before, but I don't recall ever hearing the name Bob Larrabee, which is the person that Pam called. Um, maybe we'll hear it again in the future. Maybe we won't. Whatever. I wrote it down. Sue me if you don't like it. Kiss my ass. Whatever. I wrote it down. Emily's family is staying in a motel. Uh, there's no sign of the driver. Uh, that's because there was no driver in the vehicle. Do you th agree on this one? It didn't look like it. Like last week when I was looking at it, it didn't look like there was a fucking driver. They're saying the car was stolen. Anyone else think that that's Wilden's freaking vehicle? Like, possibly with a brick on the gas so that it goes blasting through the house? Who's going to be stupid enough to go blasting through the house, jump out, oh, sorry about that, well, what and are they in? start like running out the door? Indestructible friggin' suit? They're not yeah. going to get hurt doing that? Crash test dummies. Like, oops, sorry, I just blasted through your bay window. Oopsies! Excuse me as I go down to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, then we find out that Ashley Marin is refused bail on her plea of not guilty and is being shipped off to Muncie State Prison until the trial. So, very upsetting for Hannah and Ashley, of course. <laughs> I can't even imagine, like, I feel so bad for Hannah. Um, I, I, I literally wrote, like, 50 things about poor Hannah Hannah this, where's Hannah's mom, Hannah that, like... They are very correct on the whole Muncie thing, though. Yes, that they that are. That is where people get shipped to when they... Usually, though, I think in that situation, because they're that close to Philadelphia, yeah, they wouldn't be shipped to Greaterford, which is, you know, like, around here, there's the Waymart State Prison... Nobody that does anything to get shipped off to state prison goes to Waymart. They get shipped off to well, Greater Ford, Camp Hill, you know. So, I don't know. Whatever. Um, we have so many murderers in our family yes. that we know this. Yes, we do. Yep. So, Veronica Hastings always wins her cases. I got pulled over tonight. She did. For doing 61 and a 55. Somehow, I don't buy that. I, I I swear to you, may God strike me dead right now. I swear on our friendship. I was, how is I that wasn't even, even doing 61? I'm telling you that. How is that even illegal? Like, it's the end of the month and they were looking for a quota. Did he give you a ticket? Nope. Oh, he, get, he let you off with a warning? Yep. After I used my dad's name. Naturally. Yep. Oh, you can't screw with me because my daddy's the sheriff. Back the fuck off, officer. Anyway. I got a warning, though. Yes. For doing 61 and a 55. I wanted to be like, I could see really? 71 and a, 60, and a 55, but But really? he said that the reason that he pulled me over for just a small little bit is because it was a construction zone. Oh, yeah. Fines are doubled in those areas, boys and gals. Well, at least in Pennsylvania, they are. Anyway, back to the episode. So... <laughs> 
Veronica Hastings always wins the case, or does she? I really hope she does. Um, I'm getting really sick and tired of seeing Ashley Marin in an orange suit. I'm about to jump into the freaking episodes and start punching people. Um, it's pissing me off. It's pissing me off! And I don't like it. <laughs> Mike's after game party. He's handling, quote unquote, the situation with Connor. He wants to get in touch with his fellow teammates. I think he wants to touch Does his fellow teammates. Does he want to touch his fellow teammates? <laughs> or get in touch with them? I think he wants to touch them. After yeah. all, well, that's a little bit later on, but we'll get back to that. Ah, uh, hashtag Ezra cares. Hashtag does he really? Hashtag maybe he's still a. Hashtag, oh, he wants to know more about how Emily's feeling. Hashtag who gives a fuck. Hashtag suck my balls. Suck my balls. So <laughs> Hannah's mom calls from prison. That, once again, pissed me off because I am getting sick and freaking tired of seeing Ashley Marin in an orange jumpsuit. In an orange jumpsuit. Orange is definitely her color. That woman would look good in a burlap fucking sack. <laughs> and furthermore... What prison allows people to do their makeup before getting on the phone? You're looking too hot there, Ashley Was she Marin. really doing her makeup before she got no, on the she, phone? No, but she had makeup on. Really? Anyway. I don't know what prison she's in, but I don't think they let you do that. Hmm. They think you'll try to stab yourself with your mascara. Uh, uh. So, now we come to the part where Hannah and Mona have a showdown. They start their little orchestration of how Hannah killed Wilden, why Hannah killed Wilden, what color shoes she was wearing. Notice that she changed outfits while in the flashback scene with Wilden. Bugs in your hair, blah, blah, blah. What is this show about? What is going on with the lack of A messages and where the fuck is Allie? Oh, I was talking about the vineyard. Like, what is this show I don't about? even know. That's like the ABC Family version of Laguna Beach. It's annoying. Meets Orange County. It's annoying. OC, whatever. Um, Beckett Fry is a weirdo. We hear do Weirdo. Weirdo. Who the fuck is that? He's that weirdo. I don't know who you're talking about. For anybody out there that thinks that him and Spencer are going to get together, let me find you. Because I swear to God. I'm just here for moral support, just in case you guys were wondering. Next, we see Detective Spencer ruffling through her mother's files. And she finds something pretty revealing about Mr. Wilden from back when he was just Officer Wilden and not Detective Wilden. So, Jake is Mike's karate teacher now. How wouldn't we see that one coming when Mike is supposedly taking martial arts? Who teaches martial arts in Rushwood? Let's think about this one, shall we? He's an easy target. Well then. Mike's not that small of a guy. Okay, like, I mean, he's not the biggest, but... I'm sure he could handle his own against that little shithead, Connor, especially. So, what's going on? Why is he answering the phone? Uh, or rather, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. Why are other people answering his phone saying that he's unconscious? And then he calls back Arya and says, <coughs> Undressed. What the hell was that about? Undressed. I think he thought that Arya said, Ar I, they said you were unconscious. And he was like, undressed. I think that he Oh, I thought he was being sarcastic. But then again, I'm sarcastic. So, if you didn't notice, you know. I don't know. That's the way that I took it. Backtracking a little bit. So this Spencer, is about where I picked up from. But Yeah, she watched part of it. So, Spencer gives 
she's back in Radley and she walks in with a red tin full of macaroons. Only when she opens up the tin of macaroons, it's the file that she stole out of her mother's Wait, why box does Spencer have the red tin of macaroons now? Exactly. And that's something that I actually wrote down. More cookies and red tins, but then I crossed it out because it turned out to be... The file that she stole out of her mother's box. Okay, but I'm boxes. saying though, is this the same? Is it the same one? Uh, it's pretty much the same. I think it's the one that uh, Mona brought to her while she was visiting her in Radley. Why the hell would she keep that? What she the fuck is with the macaroons? From Mona, did she? I don't think she did. You be the judge. But she brings out the file, and evidently Eddie Lamb was part of the whole thing with. Officer Wilden, where Toby's mom supposedly didn't jump out of the window, but actually jumped off the roof and possibly didn't commit suicide. And I don't even think she's really dead. She might not even really be dead, who knows, but if that's the case, they need to stop fucking with Toby because that's pissing me off. I'm sorry I'm dropping the F-bomb a lot in this video, but this show is causing me to drop the F-bomb. Fuckity fuck fuck fuck. If you don't like it, fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck then we see Zoe, a.k.a. Rumor Willis, a.k.a. Emily's supervisor from Habitat for Humanity. They're all going off to Nicaragua and having a fantastic old time while A blasts through their house, yes. And, okay, her plans are going to be to go to Nicaragua, but is, uh, is A really going to let that happen? Meanwhile, happen? your mother's getting run over by a car, but hey, go to Nicaragua. Yeah, don't worry about the fucking people you leave behind. Just go. Yeah, yep. Stupid little selfish little bitch. Then we see Caleb and Ashley Marin having a discussion about Hannah's stupidity and how she'll think up something stupid to do because she wants to take the rap for what Ashley is in jail for. Bingo. You hit the nail right on the fucking head, Caleb. Caleb knows her. It's kind of cute. I love is his last episode really next week? I hope not. I saw he's that. Gonna die. Don't quote me or anyone else on that. No, because he's going to be in. Re I don't know. Whatever. Wait, was Caleb. Was Caleb with them when they were yelling to, about? Caleb is supposedly in the Halloween episode, but what well, is? What I'm he saying in the though Halloween is, episode? when this person drowns next week, is Caleb with them? Not that I know, because I saw Emily and Jake pulling whoever that is drowning out of the water. Now, just to get back to the episode, the Fields family is going to be homeless for months. Uh, Maybe Caleb is going to be with whoever was drowning. That's a possibility. That's just that's next week's episode. Us, but yeah, um, I can't say that I blamed Caleb for getting pissed off and storming out of the house. That was a stupidity stunt, if I've ever seen one. I don't think it was stupid. Cause think about it. I don't know if they said this. Cause I'm I didn't talking see about that. Hannah trying to take the rap for her mother. You I think, don't think that that's stupid. not stupid? Here's my thing. I didn't see anything of before she came up with this plan or whatever. But think about it. If she takes the rap for it she's a minor it, it she could be tried as an adult she for absolutely killing a cop. could be tried as an adult but i think that there's obviously there's a less chance of her having anything happen to her well yes very true but she's doing it to save her mother and i can't say that i they wouldn't do the same thing in that situation is what i'm saying but they were trying to say it was self-defense that's what i'm saying and if it was self-defense then she probably would have got away with not anything happening to her. Okay, so to wrap her. this up, Caleb saves the day. Pam looks like crap. She does. She didn't look good, and I felt so bad when she started crying, but... Which, I don't know, she was having, like, an anxiety attack or something. That's then, how I felt today. why were they zooming in on Mona's shoes? And she looked like a man walking. She really did. Wrong we thought it was people? Mike in fucking I high heels. I was like, heels. who's that dude walking in high heels? It was... Okay, you need to hurry up because we got 40 seconds left. Yeah, I know. Uh, advertising that Insidious 2 is being coming out in November. Way to advertise the movie. Rock on. It actually comes out September the 13th. Mona confesses to killing Wilden. Big shocker for the end of the episode. I called it, and I didn't even watch the whole episode. And to conclude this, since when the hell is a Bob Vila, and why is he putting drill holes in 
peepholes into somebody's floor. Are they trying to make Pretty Little Liars like the movie Borky's? I don't know. Goodbye. Peace the fuck out.